Hi everyone, this is Doki Pen, and this is another video on the new features in Unreal Engine 4.7. And I'm just going to have a quick look at the new foliage rendering for large worlds. So this is an update to the um, foliage tool to be able to support rendering of tens of thousands or even millions of instances. Um, so let's just go into the viewport, into the engine, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the same. Uh, SM bush that's in the in the examples to to play with, and let's come to the foliage painting tool. And if I come down to the props, if I drag that static mesh into the into the foliage tool to be able to paint, I can control density. So let's just start with a lower value and start painting around. Make my brush a bit smaller. So I'm just gonna paint around there. Maybe we can make that a bit denser so that they fill in the space a bit more. It's a pretty powerful tool this. You can just paint whatever meshes you want. And I think already uh, this would have started to chug some machines in previous versions, but um we can just hit, hit we can just hit play and yeah, if I just grab my mouse and walk around then we can see we've got all these foliage instances, and it's uh, we can look at the uh, FPS of this, and, and it's staying pretty high. I mean, I'm on a pretty powerful machine, but still, um, this is a uh, this is all right. My volume's a bit high there. I'll turn that down. I don't even know why I'm firing, to be honest. But um, this is great because um, another thing they changed is the ability for instance foliage mesh instance the foliage meshes to be able to bake light maps. Um, you have to be aware though that um, that will take up a lot of data if you've got a lot of instances. So what we can do is we can come to the light map resolution and override. So we'll just make that really low and if we do a quick build Then now we've got all of our um, foliage with baked lighting data, uh, and the, it's probably not the best quality because we reduced it down so low. But if you've got a lot of uh, instances, then you know that might be enough. There is actually a um, tooltip that comes up here and says a value of zero disables static lighting. Um, I'm currently uh, not able to get that to work so if I put in zero then the lowest it goes is a value of four so when we build the lighting again then it still bakes the light maps it would be nice to have a way to disable light maps completely on, on these meshes because um, we still want to be able to cache shadows, um, but uh, maybe if I turn off dynamic shadow, that might work. Turn off static shadow, I mean. Oh, that seems to work. That's kind of the best of both worlds. Oh no, we're still getting baked light maps which isn't really what I want. But anyway, it'd be nice if uh, this did actually stay at zero and um, and disable light maps. So that this is what we'd get if, because uh, I tweaked that value, all the light maps um, got cleared. And I think this would be acceptable if we were using this in game for lots of instances. And the good thing about this um, is that it really does scale quite well. So if I just um, hide some of these walls, and I'll just make the floor really big, Let's grab our floor, and I will make it really big. So we see that the, the instances are tied to the floor model because that's why we painted them on, so they move with it. Okay, so I'm just going to make my brush really big and just paint a lot of these. 
So this is the reason why you wouldn't want to have light maps in your in your in your back baking process because it would just take up so much data on disk and kill performance. But if you've got um, a scene that needs something like this, then that might be acceptable to not have to not have light maps. So let's um, let's hide these walls. Where are they? Let's just make it high, high up there. There we go. And we'll get our player start and move him up. So now if we hit play, there we go. We're walking around and I mean, I'm getting frames per second of over 60 FPS here and we've got quite heavy instancing going on and it's still pretty performant. So that's pretty good and this mesh doesn't even have LODs so if we were to implement some kind of LODs in this mesh then I reckon that FPS would um, go right up and I've actually got a a um, another project where I was testing with some grass meshes and this system works great for grass because you can just create a generic grass mesh and um, fill the floor with it and it just um, fills your whole scene with grass and it renders it pretty fast Here we go, this is the project and you can see that this grass mesh is simply just some quads um, that have been arranged, if I show the wireframe, there we go, it's just some simple geometry and it's a mass material and I'm using that and instancing it um, on this giant plane here and as if you might, if you look closely we can see that we've actually got um, I've got two copies of that mesh in there and I'm painting two different um, I'm filling it with, with the same mesh twice but I'm changing the culling distance so that here near the camera it's quite dense and you can see this sort of faint line here is where the next level of instancing is taking place and it's just less dense so that further away we're not rendering as much but from the ground point of view you don't really see that because you want more near the player and then as you uh, go further away you can get away with um, much less dense instancing so if we play this and walk around then you kind of do notice the them fading on but um, I think I'd probably be able to increase that a bit f you know a bit further up so that you wouldn't notice it and you can see that um, the FPS oh, I fell off there let's just have a look at the FPS I'm getting in this I mean this is at 66 FPS and yeah it's completely unoptimized and I could do a lot to work with some levels of detail here but um, yeah it's really exciting I mean in this video it's not really showing you how to do it it's just showing you that it it's um, a new you know it exists and you can you can start using it straight away and it looks pretty good so yeah good luck thanks for watching bye